Jesus, I got Jesus When life's a mystery And peace is what I need I got Jesus, I got Jesus Everybody, everywhere Come on, come on, let me hear you
hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone. of the Bible, the parable of the Pharisee and tax collector. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! One day, Jesus told this story to some people who thought they were very good and looked down on everyone else. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, <laughs> and the other was a tax collector. Tax collectors were hated by many people. Yeah. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer, I thank you, God, that I am not bad like other people, cheaters and sinners. I'm certainly not like that tax collector. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I fast and give up eating food twice a week, and I give you a tenth of everything I earn. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest because he was so sad, saying, God, have mercy on me, for I am a sinner. Then Jesus said, I tell you, when the tax collector went home, he was right with God, but the Pharisee was not right with God. Everyone who makes himself great will be made humble, but everyone who makes himself humble will be made great. Hello Church, welcome to Sunday Worship. I'm going to tell you a secret. Did you know that I'm really good at push-ups? I haven't seen anyone better. Do you guys want to see? Check this out. Are you guys ready? Check this out. One more time. I can do this all day, all day. Can you guys see how good I am? I mean, I am so strong. I got some muscles here. Mwah. Mwah. I am so healthy. I work so hard to make myself this good. Let me actually try this with one finger. <laughs> you guys want to see? Are you guys ready? Here we go. One finger. <coughs> Ouch! Ouch! Man, maybe not today. Ow. I should have been humble. This reminds me of today's Bible story. Today, our Bible story comes from Luke chapter 18, verse 9 through 14. And it talks about the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Before we begin, do you guys know Pharisees and tax collectors? Do you know how other people viewed them? Pharisees were Jewish leaders who composed and made religious laws. They studied God's law and they knew them very well. It's like PhD in religion. They were proud, proudful. Man. Now, tax collectors were people who collected taxes from other people. And oftentimes, people did not like them because they were dishonest and unfair in the way they collected money. They were a dishonest people. In today's parable, Jesus talked about Pharisees and tax collectors. Who do you think is the better among those two? A person who studied God's words or a dishonest tax collector? Let's find out. Jesus saw that some people were looking down others. So he began telling a story. He talked about two men, tax collector and a Pharisee. They both went to the temple to pray. Wait, pause. How do you guys pray? Or how often do you guys pray? When I was little, sometimes I prayed so I could show people how good I was at praying. So I raised my hands like this. And sometimes I open my eyes like this, peek to see if people are watching, and I prayed out loud. So embarrassing. And guess what? This is what Pharisee did. And he was not a little kid. Pharisee stood up and he prayed. And I think, I just think that he may have prayed in a very loud voice. So others can hear him. Just maybe. He prayed and said, God, I thank you that I am not greedy, dishonest, and unfaithful like other people. I'm glad that I'm not like the tax collector. 
I fast two days, and I tithe. Wow, so prideful. Now there was another guy, and he was a tax collector. And just like I mentioned in the beginning, he was not liked by many because he was dishonest about collecting taxes. Well, this guy stood far away from Pharisee. He couldn't even lift up his head because he was so sorry for all the things that he had done. The tax collector pounded on his chest and said, <laughs> "Have mercy on me, God. I am a sinner." Wow, guys, this guy. His prayer was real. He was really sorry. He brought his problems to God and asked for forgiveness. The two prayers, one from Pharisee and the other from tax collector, were very different. Jesus explained and said that God was happy with the tax collector's prayer, and He forgave him. But God was not happy with the Pharisees. Jesus said, "If you put yourself above others, you will be put down. But if you're humble, God will honor you." Do you guys remember how Pharisee's attitude was? He was saying thank you, but he was bragging about how much better he is than other people. Imagine this bag. Is you. If you fill your life with pride, what will happen? I'm gonna blow some air in this bag, and I want you guys to think about the moments that you were prideful, times that you thought you were better than others, and time that you looked down on other people. I want you guys to think about that. Are you guys ready? Our life, full of pride, is messy. If we fill our life with pride, there is no room for God. It will bring us to nowhere. It will never fill you to make you feel full or completely satisfied. Yes, it is okay for you to celebrate your achievement. That should not make you think that you are more important than others, or it's no reason for you to belittle others. God sent Jesus to this world because He loves everyone. Church, we don't have to make ourselves look good to talk to God. No matter who you are, and where you live. Or what you do, God loves you, and He wants you to have a relationship with you. James chapter four verse ten says, "Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will exalt you." Church, let's humble ourselves, come before God, and sincerely talk to God and ask Him to forgive us of all the wrong things that we did. We need Jesus. We can't let pride tell us that we don't need Jesus. Jesus was humble, coming down from heaven to live on earth as a man. Jesus took the punishment for our sins by dying on the cross. Boys and girls, God doesn't like pretend prayer. We can come to God just. As you are, so let's confess our sins, live our lives for Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you are a loving Father. Father, please help us to come before you with a sincere heart, and just as we are, Lord, help us to come before you and ask you for forgiveness. Help us to be humble. Help us to know that you sent your Son to die on the cross for everyone. So, Father, 
Uh, if we are prideful, please help us to come before you and ask you for forgiveness. Father, uh, you are good and your love endures forever. We love you, we thank you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now that's it for today, boys and girls, and I'll see you guys next week. But before I let you guys go, we're going to say Lord's Prayer together. Ready? Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you guys next week.